Hi everybody, it's Lisa, it's Philo's mom, and this is part two of my file, cabinet, craft, cabinet, whatever, organizing, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, I've got some sad news. While I was organizing the beads and the sequins, my camera decided that my um, memory card you know, the little SD card was full, and it quit recording, and I didn't know until I was all done. Yay for technology! <laughs> so what I thought I'd do is I would just take you on a little tour from where we left off. Okay, we left off where I was organizing all the sequins. And in these two compartments, I have all my sequins. And then over here... I organized all of my beads. Now, I'm not a beater or anything like that, but I do like these in some of my shaker things. In this one, I have some larger beads, though. And then back here, I just have these little glass. They held tea light candles, but they are perfect for holding beads and sequins and stuff while you're making your shakers. So that is that drawer. Then I also organized all my extra type of goodies. Like here I have plastic little forks and swizzle sticks right here. And let's see, back here I have tools, what I call tools. A thing of magnets and some keychain rings, things like that. In here, I have my wooden, small wooden embellish, embellishments and frames. And then right here is my bigger ones, and then a container of wooden stickers. Then right over here is all of my buttons, my decorative buttons, right in this section. And in this section, I have some gemstones, hearts, and these are just gemstones. <laughs> Right over here, I just kind of have a mishmash of stuff, like Google eyes and little charms, you know, for jewelry and stuff, which I don't make jewelry, but I use them. Uh, these are date charms. Uh, what are these? Oh, these are some earrings I was going to take apart because I like the color. Then the next drawer is my storage stuff. I like to keep some extra storage containers for when I do buy more sequins or something like that. And like I have these little containers from the Dollar Tree. I have some Tupperware type, well, Rubbermaid and Dollar Tree plastic containers. This is those embroidery floss things that we can get. Um, and we send out washi samples on them. So I keep them in this little thing. These are dividers to um, organizing those boxes, you know, that we can get. And they all have the dividers and stuff. Well, these are my extra dividers. Down here is um, the Ziploc baggies, <clears throat> some medicine containers. Um, I got these from an older lady who was having a garage sale, and she had like 10 of them, so I bought all of them, and these are nice to have. If somebody's ever having a garage sale, and they've got just these, because she was an older woman with no children, so she, all her prescriptions came with the screw on top, and she took all the labels off and sold them to me for, I think, a nickel a piece or something. Here I have extra Ziploc baggies, and then here I have some paint samples for just odd and end type crafts. And then my favorite drawer of all, my pen, my colored pens. Yes, yes. Back here I have all my felt tip pens. Right here I just have um, fancier type colored ink pens. Here I have glitter pens, a little bit of paint in case I think I need to paint. <laughs> Ordinary colored pens. Here is some 
Oh, you get these at the Dollar Tree. And these right here. Oh, right here. These are scented ink pens. Love them. Here I have metallic type uh, markers and Sharpies. And then over here I have metallic um, ink pens. These are mainly Christmas colors because I did also put the two um, glitter markers in here. These are mainly for Christmas. And then in the very, and I know my floor needs a sweeping. <laughs> This right here is empty, and I am happy it's empty. I don't need anything in this drawer. No, I don't, because I'll tell you what, I'll probably find something to put in this drawer. <laughs> I should put my electronics in here. Yeah, and my passwords, things like that. Maybe I'll do that. I'll have to let you guys know what I decide to do with this drawer. So, let's have a little recap, because I told you guys I'd show you when it was all done. Top drawer, all my office supplies. Second drawer, all my adhesives and tools I use for my adhesives, like my hot glue gun tray. Uh, my liquid adhesives. I do have um, the sandpaper in here, but it's fine right there. The next drawer, sequins and beads. The next drawer, kind of just my odds and ends little embellishment drawer. Buttons and the wooden things, you know, things like that. Ugh. This is my storage drawer, what I use to store things and stuff like that. And the favorite drawer, the magic drawer, the ink pen drawer. Yay! <laughs> so I am going to get off of here now. Let's zoom you in so you can see all the goodness. But yes, I'm so sorry you didn't get to see me organize this last little bit. Ugh, I can't believe it did that. Yeah, I got all done, was just chit-chatting away and not recording a darn thing. No, I was not. Hmm. Oh, well. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing me organize my file cabinet type thing. Um, and if anyone wants to know where I got this, it, well, it's made of metal for starters. And what it is, is we went to an auction that was auctioning off the rest of the Radio Shack things. That Radio Shack, when they closed here in our town, um, did not get sold. So they sent it all to the auction. And this, I wish I would have picked up another one. They had like four, four of these cabinets. But I was thinking, oh, I only need one. But I only paid $15, I think, for it. It wasn't very much. And it was just cram-packed with um, fuses. Yeah, fuses that you use. And little tiny light bulbs and telephone batteries, things like that. So, and then they had right here labels that slid into these drawers, which I could probably put some contact paper or something right there in the front to kind of decorate them, or some stickers, Woo! and washi tape and duct tape. Oh my gosh, I've had this thing for like three years and I haven't thought of that yet. Hmm. Now I'm really thinking about it. Mm hmm. If I decorate the front, Maybe I'll do it with you guys, okay? Let me know down below if you'd like to see me do this. Decorate the front of this. <laughs> but this thing is heavy. It has been moved twice. And that's it. Because it's heavy. Well, guys, I'm going to get off of here now so I can upload this. And I hope you've enjoyed watching me organize my craft room, file 
cabinet thing. I don't even know what to call this thing. But I hope that you've enjoyed watching it. Don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. You know I love to hear from each and every one of you. Bye.